Okay, so basically today, 17th of November, um, marks the third year that the World Health Organization rolled out a project, uh, Project 1970-90, to eliminate cervical cancer within the next generation. Okay, Okay, so uh, 90% vaccination, and that's why recently Nigeria joins countries that rolled out the um, cervical cancer or the HPV vaccine. Because the HPV, that is the human papilloma virus, is the virus mostly 98% responsible for cervical cancer. Mm-hmm. So the vaccine for now rolled out in 15 states and the FCT uh, is for young girls and boys between the age of 9 and 14. Mm-hmm. And uh, this age bracket are expected not to have been sexually exposed because mm-hmm. um, HPV uh, is also a virus that is sexually transmitted. Okay. It can be through, it can be gotten through sexual contact. Okay. So the idea is to vaccinate these young girls before sexual exposure. Okay. Of course, there are research going on to also get vaccines for people that are older. Okay. You know, so that at age, each age category, we could have um, everybody getting vaccination. Okay. And also, the seventy percent is to get seventy percent of screening. Okay, of you know women within the age of or within reproductive age. Yeah. Uh, so which is basically what we did today. Okay. Now the ninety per, ninety after so it's ninety percent, seventy percent, ninety percent. Okay. So that ninety percent is that you know by twenty thirty, mm. you know we should have achieved full treatment okay. of positive cases out of those seventy percent treated. Okay. So ninety percent of vaccination of girls between the age of nine and fourteen mm-hmm. and boys as well. 70% of screening of women within reproductive age and above, and then 90% of treatment for cases detected. That's 1970, 90. So today is the third day because it was rolled out in the year 2020. Okay. And then um, we, that was also where we in Breca, and that's Breast Cancer Association of Nigeria, decided to latch onto and adopt cervical cancer as part of our focus. Okay. So okay. we do breast, we do cervical, and even prostate now because oh. these are the three major cancers, you know prostate for males, yeah. breast and cervical for okay. females. So today being the, the third anniversary, we just decided that, okay, let's, uh, since we don't have the vaccine yet, mm-hmm. let's um, contribute on the uh, screening. Okay. So uh, this is our King Yemi neighborhood where we, our head office is domiciled. Mm-hmm. So we decided to do something for the community, okay. schools within this community. So we organized a free breast and cervical screening okay. within women, you know, within this community, we have teachers, civil servants, mm-hmm. people within this community, and it's been on since morning. We just ended, mm-hmm. you know, because cervical cancer is one of those cancer that once detected early and treated, once they do the screening and there's um, presence of um, the virus, yeah. they treat it and the person is fine. Mm-hmm. But this virus can stay in a woman's body for 10 to 15 years and then begin to manifest and develop yeah. into cancer, mm. which we know how expensive it is to treat cancer in a country like that. Even globally, True. it's always expensive to treat. And then unfortunately, we don't even have, have the insurance package to deal with it mm. and healthcare facilities. So the earlier we tackle it at this mm. very fundamental level, mm. you know, the better. Because we say any detection saves lives. Yeah. So basically, that's uh, you know, what we did today. Um, so what are those tips you share for uh, people out there to, mm. you know, to manage this um, um, cancer. Okay, so basically, for like we talk about, you know, why I was I'm dwelling more on cervical cancer is that what we are, you know, uh, commemorating today. Yeah. Uh, for breast cancer, basically, um, you know, we say there's no no cause. Mm. But we have the things we refer to as um, risk factors. Yeah. And among these risk factors, we have the modifiable and the non modifiable. Mm-hmm. Uh, the modifiable are those that have to do with lifestyle. You know, alcohol intake, um, smoking, mm. smoking. I have to mention that smoking mm. Mm. exposure to um, harmful substances like radiation. Mm. You know, where you are working, you should make sure that your companies are safety conscious. Yeah. You know, where you have to use your safety gears, make sure mm. you use them, use them accurately. And then, you know, sedentary lifestyle. Yeah. People need to exercise, and of course, lack of eating well. You know, people think eating well is you know, mm. big food and all yeah. that, no, eat food that are rich in uh, fruits and vegetables, True. you know, cut down on the calories, mm. cut down on the sugars and all those things, you know, generally eat healthy, yeah. live healthy, you know, those are the, you know, uh, modifiable risk factors. But the non-modifiable are those that come with like age, yeah. you know, as one good, great, uh, gets older, the person, even men uh, from 40 and above, mm. talking about prostate cancer, 
um, women also as they are also advancing in age. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, also because of changing lifestyles and everything, we are having younger people. And I must tell you today, we identified two young girls, one 16, one 18, that um, you know have serious breast issues, yeah. which we are going to take to UCH on Monday for further diagnosis to wow. know what we are dealing with, but they were not looking nice. Yeah. You know, so we have to bring it down to that level. Mm. You know, lifestyles are changing and everything, so we also have to come down. So, mm. Mm. Uh, you know, so yet age is also a factor, and mm. nobody can do anything about it. Yes. That is why we call it non-modifiable. Yeah. Uh, of course, um, you know, this race, mm. black women, mm. you know, also black men also, yeah. high chance of prostate cancer, the same thing with black women as well. There's nothing we can do about our race, you know. Yeah. So these are the factors we refer to. And then if there's a, a you know a history in the family yeah. which is a genetically, if it is genetically transmitted, but the good thing is that majority of the cancers, hmm. you know, were tested, they may necessarily not necessarily be a family history. Okay. So what we always advise is that once there's a family history of um, you know cancer in any family, mm-hmm. it might be a genetic defect which can possibly be transmitted from parents, you know, to offspring. So mm-hmm. we encourage such people to do more you know, of um, screening and then, you know, um, check themselves. Oh, wow. Now, for cervical cancer, we've also, and this research has identified that, um, you know, the human papilloma virus, mm-hmm. which is sexually transmitted, so, of course, once something is gotten through sexual contact, they start talking about protect yourself mm-hmm. in, you know, sexual contact mm-hmm. and all that, you know, using of, you know, just like the ABC of HIV, yeah, you do that as well, yeah. you know, but screen is the best, mm-hmm. you know, screening is best, you know, make sure you screen very well, that's mm-hmm. for cervical, cervical. You know, men will also encourage them, mm-hmm. 40 and above, go for your PSI, check mm-hmm. your prostate, prostate cancer is all over the place, you know, check it. People have to be conscious of our healthy living yeah. and people should go for checkup. Mm-hmm. We, don't, we don't have that medical checkup culture in yeah. Nigeria, but it's better. We are having a system where health insurance is not optimal, especially when it comes to cancer. The, mati- the equipment are not even there in the mm-hmm. hospital. Mm-hmm. So the earlier these things are caught, the cheaper to treat yeah. and the higher the chance of survival. Mm-hmm. So it's, it, that's the vice versa. Mm-hmm. If it is detected late, the chance of survival is reduced and the cost is also very high. Yeah. So that's why we always encourage people to come out early, screen early, treat early, detect early. Don't just detect and stop. Mm-hmm. Detect and treat and go to the right sources. Right. Basically, Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah.